My BFI Player Plus choice this week is a slice of late period Hammer Horror, an often underrated chiller which has earned a certain cult status since its first release in 1971, Countess Dracula. Countess Dracula draws on the legend of Elsebet Bartery, the real-life Hungarian noblewoman who, between 1585 and 1610, was reported to have tortured and killed hundreds of young women. So extensive were her crimes that Bartery entered popular folklore with hair-raising tales of her bathing in and even drinking the blood of virgins. Like Vlad the Impaler, who partly inspired the character of Dracula, Bartery became a quasi-fictional figure of fear the Blood Countess. Director Peter Sazdi's movie was produced at a time when Hammer was struggling to keep pace with the changing face of horror cinema. Having made their name in the 50s and 60s with a string of increasingly campy Dracula and Frankenstein pictures, Hammer would find themselves out of step with the new breed of contemporary horror which flourished in the 70s. There. Although very much a period piece, Countess Dracula marked a move away from the Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing pictures of yore, thanks largely to what Kim Newman would call the predatory beauty of leading lady and enduring horror icon Ingrid Pitt. Having survived life in a concentration camp as a child, Pitt left her native Poland for California before returning to Europe. Her career as an actress included roles in films like Dr. Zhivago and Where Eagles Dare, before Hammer cast her as the lead in The Vampire Lovers, an adaptation of Sheridan Le Fanu's Carmilla. A mesmerising screen presence, Pitt was every bit as striking in real life as on film. You're obsessed with me. Sometime around the turn of the century, I interviewed her for a documentary I was making about The Wicker Man, in which she co-starred, and it was an experience I'll never forget. Still stunning in her mid-60s, she was a force of nature, electrifying, energetic and untamed. Indeed, Pitt wanted Countess Dracula to be stronger meat, I always felt that it pulled its punches somewhat, she said. On set, I tried to insist that they made more of her bathing in blood. I felt it would be a more powerful film if we could show just how depraved Bartery was. As it was, the British Board of Film Censors demanded cuts before granting Countess Dracula an X certificate, proving that not everyone was as open-minded as Pitt when it came to screen excess. <laughs> Today, the film may seem almost quaint, but Pitt is as captivating as ever, a bona fide screen icon at the very height of her dark powers.